Previously, you saw us move our boat to the new marina. So you probably noticed that where we live is not an equivalent of a tropical island. Unfortunately, it's a bit early on this moment to pack our bags and move to a more warmer climate. Luckily, we also do not live in a climate like this. But we have to find a solution for the weather that we do have, especially now in the more colder months of the year. Now this little heating device came with the boat. It's an electronic heater. And the way this works is that the little spiral inside the device will start to glow red, which will cause the device to emanate heat. But as you can see, it's quite a tiny device for such a big boat, so frankly this thing didn't work. We also did find another heating device, without any documentation or manual how to use it. If you remove this, you find a knob, a button, on and off. But what does it do? Good question. Through some crappy wiring, it connects to a diesel heater inside the engine room. With a little bit of research, we found out that the thing can't be broken and is easily fixed. If any of you knows how to repair an Eberspacher, uh, what was it, X2? 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 X2. <laughs> Please, let us know in the comments because we frankly do not know how to fix this thing. Because the heating sources that came with the boat were not or barely working, we started to search on the internet for another solution. And then we found people that could warm a living room with flower pots and tea lights. Hey there, so today we are going to make the best flower pot warmer using just these simple things here we have on the table. And I have four tea candles on one of the bases for that six inch terracotta pot. And all you have to do is put that on top and give that about 15 minutes and you will not be able to touch this thing and it be, we will be radiating heat like crazy. It looks easy to make and is inexpensive in use so we want to give this a try. And we're going to light them. Let there be light! Ta -da. And supposedly when we place this on top, the heat will rise, it will be retained by the flower pots and it will emanate heat. We will Supposedly. be warm. The tea is almost ready, so... Ta-da! If this works, it would be very cost efficient indeed, because you only need the little lights, the little candles, as a source for heating. But we will come back to you and tell you if this really works. Half an hour later, I'm going to try and see if this works. Well, no, as you can see, I still can touch the flower pots. And Although it's slightly warmer, I think it's nice if you come from outside, you want to warm your hands. I don't think this will work. No. So, 
I'm sorry, great hive mind. We try this out, but it doesn't work. We like it warm and toasty in here. And um, I think this might work if you're a mountain goat and... Or the Christmas man. And living on the North Pole and think uh, that the, the weather is nice and you can go outside with a t-shirt. Or in your underpants or something. Yeah. Now, unless you're a mountain goat and you have like five layers of woolen socks on top of each other and you're living in a very small cupboard, then this might be your solution to heat. But no, for us this doesn't work. So, we have to find yet another solution. There are a lot of different petroleum heaters on the market and we found one with a double burner. So this means that uh, you don't get the foul odor of petroleum heaters in your living space, which is a big plus. The, the stove is working very well, but maybe a little bit too well, because it is now 30 uh, degrees Celsius inside. The Fibert hatch and the, the companionway hatch are both wide open. Because otherwise there's not enough oxygen and we would probably have to sit here in our bathing suits. But now we have another problem and that is, it is raining inside. Well, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. It's condensation. We have condensation now. But annoying. Yeah, so we need to fix that. Stop turning our cabin into a rainforest. <laughs> but that's a problem for another time. And for now we wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you next time. Bye! Bye!